Do you want to create a rig for your old school RuneScape model so you can make an animation or something like that but want to avoid Mixamo? Well, this video is going to explain how to rig models using the tools in Blender. The reason you may wish to do this is if you want to rig something that isn't humanoid, like a cow, or maybe something that isn't perfectly symmetrical. But also it can be easier to animate using this method. The only drawback is it takes a little bit longer to set up. However, I have something that's going to save you a lot of time at the end of the video, so do stick around for that. So, how do we go about rigging a model in Blender? Let's go over this in five steps. Step one is to make sure that you have the Rigify add-on installed in Blender. This comes with Blender and can provide you with more rigging features. To find this, go to Edit, Preferences, and then navigate to the Add-ons tab and search for Rigify. Make sure the box is ticked. Step two involves importing a rig from a rig template. Now, to do this, we go to Add, Armature, Basic, and then select Basic Human Meta Rig. If you're reading something different, make sure you pick a rig that is appropriate. So for example, if I was doing a cow, I would choose the Quadruped Rig. Step three involves deleting any unnecessary bones that we don't need. Now, you can do this by going into edit mode, selecting them, and then pressing the delete key. Now, you might choose to delete different bones depending on what you're rigging. And if you want to import your model now so you can compare it and go side by side, it'd be a good time to do so. But I reserve that for step four. Step four is probably the most complicated part of this process. And what it involves is lining up our model with our rig. So the first thing you want to do is import the model and then scale it down. Don't scale up the rig, scale the model down because the models that get exported from old school RuneScape are rather large in nature. Once you have this, you want to enter edit mode and then delete the shadow that is attached underneath your model. This just causes loads of issues when rigging. So just delete that bad boy. Now the shadow is gone, you want to line the rig up with the model. To do this, enter edit mode and then select the various nodes and all that and move the rig so it matches the same position as your model. This takes a lot of time. It can be just a lot of trial and error and just move things around till it lines up. You mainly want to focus on the arms and the legs. The final step, step five, involves linking the model to the rig. To do this, make sure you're in object mode, select the model, and then shift click the character rig. Now, right click and make it a parent object that is weighted. Make sure once you finish this though, you test that your model is correctly rigged. To do this, go into pose mode and just try and move the rig around and check that the model tracks with it. If not, just try again, maybe make sure you've got it in the right order. It can be a little bit of trial and error till it works, make sure nothing's selected. It can sometimes be a bit glitchy. And with that final step, you are done. You can export it as an FBX or pose and animate it here or wherever you like. Now, if you really want to save some time, I did mention this at the start, in my Discord, I have some files that you can open that contains a pre-posed model of the rig, which pretty much means you just need to import a character model and scale it accordingly. Links are going to be in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.